हे गाइस वेलकम टू द नाइनटीन एपिसोड ऑफ क्यू एन ए व्यूअर राजश्री हैज आस्ट इन द एटीन एपिसोड ऑफ क्यू एन ए फ्रॉम स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस सीरीज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एओसीवी एंड पीओसीवी इन एस इन लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ओ एंड पैरामेट्रिक ओ सी वी दैट इज पीओ सी वी हाउ एवर एओ सी वी वॉज नॉट कवर्ड हेन्स इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल गो थ्रू द फंडामेंटल ऑफ एडवांस ऑन चिप वेरिएशन दैट इज एओ सी वी इन एस टी ए इफ यू वॉच द लास्ट एपिसोड एंड दिस एपिसोड बैक टू बैक देन यू विल बी एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट ओ सी वी एओ सी वी एंड पीओ सी वी स्टेट यून टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस एपिसोड टू कवर बेसिक नो हाउ ऑफ द एओ सी वी इन एस टी ए Hey folks, welcome back to the computer screen. In today's episode, we are discussing viewer Rajeshree's question: What is the difference between AOCV and QCV? Which she has asked in the 18th episode of Q&A, where I have discussed about QCV. Now, in all the previous episodes in the static timing analysis series, OCV and QCV is discussed. So today we are going to discuss about the AOCV. So let's move on to the next slide. In today's episode, we will be discussing about what is AOCV, which is also known by another name, LOCV, working principle of LOCV or AOCV, understanding the LOCV or AOCV derating table, timing dot lib data format or AOCV or LOCV, the analysis types of LOCV or AOCV. so that's the main for today so without any further delay let's begin what is aocv or locv so this aocv is implemented for intraday that is single wafer timing variability analysis this point is very much same as the ocv however it is less pessimistic than the traditional ocv which has a fixed derating value means that the derating is a kind of constant everywhere for every gate and it do not have any kind of distance or path relationship is just a static number so in actual practice when there is a wafer and the process to which the semiconductor chip is made all those variation the process variations happens various parts of a single wafer itself if we traverse from one end to the another end of a single wafer there may be difference the difference can be found even for a single process step so how can the effect be same or very pessimistic however this eocv things became very prominent around maybe around the 65 nanometer node or below above 90 nanometer node there was no need to see about a eocv or locv but in the sub nanometer domain when we went down around or below the 65 nanometer node that time this eocv has a great importance derating is a function of path or graph in aocv or locv so as i just mentioned that if i go from one end to the another end of a single wafer how we move on top of the wafer definitely there will be a path and the graph is another concept in vlsi especially in timing so derating here in aocv is a function that is dependent on path or graph hence the name is appropriate location based ocv why it is important because this location based ocv the locations are determined by the path hence the name is much appropriate the location based ocv or the more popular name of it attached to it is advanced ocv that is aocv in the industry the less common name is locv and the more common name is aocv so we are going to mostly call by the name advanced ocv or aocv this is a non statistical method as compared to the parametric ocv that is pocv the pocv already we have discussed in the last episode of qna and that was a statistical method however this is not a statistical method it is an advanced version of the onchi variation where we take the consideration of the derating variation depending upon the path in traversing one end of the wafer to the another end of the wafer or the 
single bit. However, in this part, there will be logic gates. We are not moving randomly. We are done with this particular slide, so let's move on. Working principle of LOCV or EOCV. In this method, the sale or gate debate varies with logic depth, that is hierarchy, and based on the path or graph. Logic depth, you understand that the gates are connected or the blocks are connected, and we go inside a block, we have a sub block. This way, we have the logic depth or the hierarchy. This path may extend from one end to the other end of the same chip, that is the wafer. Already, I have a couple of times mentioned this thing. Arch path may not consist only a single type of gate, rather various gates. Obviously, the design will contain multiple types of gates inside the silicon wafer. In this path, equal and opposite kind of derating may partially or fully neutralize each other's effect. So this is theoretical. In practical, you can see it may happen, it may not happen. There is a all type of possibility. Derating values varies for each cell type, each depth, each location, each slew, and each load. You can understand the derating values are also dependent upon various factors as cell type, depth, location, slew, and load. Using standard cell characterization to get the minute or accurate data, LOCV or EOCV requires a lot of library characterization manpower and hardware or software computational resources as compared to its ancestor that is OCV and this is a very much uh, important point because to perform the data timing analysis we have a very much needed input the timing dot lib which comes to the standard cell characterization now for this LOCV or AOCV we require a huge amount of manpower and hardware or software resources manpower in the term that more man days rather than more people it counts more man days that is work weeks are spent here on standard cell characterization so this is one fact about the EOCV in the background not in the SDA tool but in the background requirement file that is timing dot lib worst case derating is picked up across each load or slew pair combination so this is the part of the method we have load slew pair you know from the timing dot lib right so there we have the load slew pair and we have a LUT and from there we pick the data in case you have not watched the timing dot lib episode in the STA series go ahead you can find it in the STA playlist and from there you can watch it so folks let's move on to the next slide Understanding AOCV or AOCV derating table. As I mentioned, that the AOCV or AOCV is a path or graph dependent entity. So the derating is not fixed here. It varies. How it varies? That is, we are going to determine or see here. Here is a kind of representation of the silicon wafer. It's a hand drawing. So here the oval represents a silicon wafer and the arrow is a path where we have the logic gates in the path and the numbers there we can see 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. give the logic depth. And how we have the deleting table, this picture will help you to understand. Here goes our deleting table. First, we have indexes as depth, that is 0, 1, 2, 3. Then we have indexes as 200, 300. The units can be found at the top of the dot liberty file. I have mentioned in the timing dot lib file. Here I have already explained what is there in the header section. These basic units can be found in the header section. Next comes the table. So you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 columns and 2 rows. So these 1, 2, 3, 4. So this goes for the columns and these two goes for the rows. So thus, we create a 2D table to get the corresponding D rating. So thus, the D rating can vary. This is the AOCV table. I have just give you a kind of snapshot from the actual table. I will show you the actual table later on. Just for your understanding, just to create the right impression to your mind, this slide is created. Just take a snapshot in the mind. Yes, in upcoming slides, we are going to discuss about the actual table. This is the actual data, but the table consists of much more data but this is the crux of the table where we have the variation of the derating. We are done with this particular slide. Let's move on. Timing dot lib data for EOCV or LOCV. 
so here we are going to come across the actual table so first there will be a header section of the table where these things are mentioned the library ocv lib then ocv table template to the ocv template this is the name then variable 1 is path depth variable 2 is path distance now you can see that we have named it this is a table prototype it is declared in the top section of the dot lib and we have dummy indexes 1 and 2 so in actual case this indexes values and numbers can vary and here we close it so this is a template that is the prototype of the actual table that we find later on inside each cell of the dot lib file now what we see in the actual cell inside is every cell definition let's look into that so here in the bigger rectangular box we will be displaying that so first we have default ocv dedicated group that is advanced ocv next we have the cell name then we have OCV arc depth 2.0. So, this OCV arc depth is the effective logic depth of a cell or a timing arc. We have a value here OCV D rate group AOCV1. Then we have OCV D rate. Here it begins OCV D rate factors is 2D OCV template and RF type it is rise fall type. And here in this particular cell it is rise and fall. However, the valid inputs can be seen in the right hand side as comments right. The valid are rise, fall, and rise and fall. So these are the types. Next, the DV type is early, this is the type of the arrival time. So it could be early, it could be late. These two values can come to here. Next, the path type. So here the path type is clock and data, and the valid types are clock, data, and clock and data. Now here comes the actual indexes. Next, we have the second index. So here you can see from the prototype the index number and the values have been changed. Next we have the values that is the table, actual 2D table, lookup table. So here the table closes. So already you can now correlate in the previous slide we have discussed these two things and this thing. We have visualized in actual the timing lib. So this is written in this way. So first this template is defined somewhere up in the dot lib and later for each cell this section comes for the AOCV and the relevant strings I have kept here. So this is a short and sweet uh, description of the data that can be found in the timing dot lib that has to be characterized by the standard cell characterization in and this particular data requires a lot of effort. So there could be various variation even for a same cell. So every possible combination has to be logged there inside the dot lib. So I have just given you one snapshot. And if you see right here the values, the values rise, fall, rise and fall. I am moving my mouse. So log data and clock and data. So all these combinations, multiple combination of these variables can be there. Next, analysis types of LOCV or AOCV. There are two basic types of the LOCV or AOCV. In this slide, we will also see the snippet of the commands that are going to use. So, first, see to enable the AOCV, we use this particular command in the ST tool timing AOCVM enable analysis and the value is true. And this invokes the AOCV ng to read the respective AOCV inputs and process the design accordingly. Now, the first type is graph based as you mentioned to initiate this particular method we use report aocv n this particular command the first command already invoked that enables aocv and the second one invokes the graph based method the second method is path based method which is invoked by the report timing and then dash pdu mode path so this way you can invoke the AOCV method inside the ST tool. Obviously, there will be a lot of other commands, but these are the key commands that you have to put there. So, folks, in a short and sweet manner, we have covered this particular slide. Let's move on. Thank you very much for listening up to this point. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In case you have some dislikes, put that as comment in the comment section down below. And bye for today.